So this is just a little trick I learned in production, which is really useful and really simple, but most people don't know about it. So I have this mesh here, which is like a little crater, and it has some transforms. And I'm now importing a higher resolution mesh of the same model. As you can see, after it imported, uh, it's at a different place, at 0, 0, 0. And I want to match these transforms. And there are options up here to match transforms, so you could just uh, do it by hand. But a very simple way is to select the object with zero transform or with the transforms that you don't want. And then the other object, and then just tap through. Just go here, tap, 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 until it's matched. So basically what you're doing here is um, you're taking, um, like in the channel box, you can set for, for two objects the same value, right? You can have this one and the sphere here, and you want them at the same location, so you just select them and put them at 5, uh, five, five and then they're at the same location, obviously. And basically, here you're doing the same, th same thing, but um, as you have already transform on the, on, transforms on the second object, you just take these and apply them to both meshes, and that way you just match them. It's a really simple trick, but um, it's really helpful, and most people don't know about it.